Guys, post fight review to the Pani Kianza versus Pennington fight. After the first round, I feel like Kianza won the first round because she was really just controlling the clinch work. It was up against the cage for the full round. There was really no separation there, as you guys can see. Really up against the cage the whole up against the cage the whole time. A lot of cage work, and really that kind of saps your energy a lot. And kind of you know, both of them were just working up against the cage. None of them really wanted to separate and get over to the center of the cage to fight. So um, that was kind of new. You know, I normally see fighters trying to turn away and, you know, turn an angle away and get back to the middle of the cage to strike. But I guess neither of these women wanted to get punched in the face in this round. So uh, that was pretty boring. Um, there was no takedowns in this round either. So both fighters are pretty proficient in their takedown defense. But I mean... Why would you just stay up against the cage the whole time and not try to separate and get back to the middle of the cage? What, what is that about? Maybe they're trying to wear each other out and get each other to tire, tire each other out and get tired. And maybe they're going to slow down in the later rounds. I mean, I guess that's a good game plan, but it's pretty boring to watch. It's not very exciting to watch. Pretty boring not that exciting um i'm not really that excited here i'm watching the first round and i'm just watching two women hugging each other up against the cage and i'm bored and one of them happens to be a lesbian <laughs> which is uh raquel pennington her fiance is tish Taurus. but um maybe she's doing this for her own enjoyment <laughs> i don't know i mean some, who knows maybe she is Maybe she enjoys doing this. You know, obviously, I mean, I would enjoy fighting too. You know, uh, it's a very exciting sport. But come on, man. The first round, that shit was boring as a motherfucker. Like, nobody was doing anything. Just like this, you know, just just up against the cage. Some elbows here and there, but rarely happens. Some knees to the body here and there, but not too much damage, I guess. You know, I wasn't really impressed. I thought that... Pani Kianza won the first round, if that's any consolation. But at the same time, I don't think either of them deserved to win the first round because both of them didn't really want to fight. You know, if you don't want to fight, what are you doing here? <laughs> you know? Wow, Kianza hurt her real bad when she tries to... Kianza really hurt Pennington here. Pennington's really hurt right now because Kianza hit her with a right hook and a, and a left hook too. Ho two hooks to the face. And a right hand. So three punch combo. And now she closes the distance. And she gets an underhook. Because she was about to get finished here. I mean I think Raquel Pennington has just been in too many wars. At this point in her career. She's kind of old. She's not old actually. She's pretty. You know she's in her 30s right. She's not too old. But like she's kind of worn out. You know washed up a little bit. Because in this fight, you should be beating Piapani Kianza. I mean, I know she's ranked above you, but at the same time, you know, uh, Pani Kianza. I didn't think that girl would be ever beating Raquel Pennington. Raquel Pennington paved the way for many of the females, right? I mean, she faced Amanda Nunes for a world title. Did she? I think so. She lost the fight, but at the same time, she still performed pretty well. Very good job by Pennington to get this takedown. She got it off a single leg. Um, right now, I'm actually thinking that she's winning this round right now because of that single takedown. She's had a lot of control time too. The takedown happened uh, approximately around, uh, you know, one, two minutes in. She got a triangle, but she defended. So, um, yeah, pretty good. The back control was probably right, right, right out for the whole full round. She came up top. Pretty good, pretty good round for Raquel Pennington. You know, I thought she won the second round. She lost the first round, in my opinion. So now the third round is, uh, uh, you know, the deciding round for these two women. You know, it depends on who who wants it more. How badly do you want it, Raquel? How badly do you want it, Raquel? Do you want to win this fight? That's what it comes down to, and that's why I love this sport. In my opinion, I think Raquel won this fight. You know, I thought she won the second the second round and the third round. The third round, her striking was looking really crisp and sublime. And she was just weaving in and out of these punches and just lighting up Pani Kianza with those strikes. And I was like, whoa, 
Ooh, she's up there. She's looking good. She's beating this bitch up like real bad. And let's see who won this fight. Who won the fight? Let's see. Raquel, just like I thought. I told you she won the third round. And I knew she won the second round. So, and she, but she lost the first round. So, um, you know, a good performance by Raquel. And now she's in the top 15 with a performance like that. A victory against Pani Kianzad. I think she breaks into the top 15. And if she beats a, another opponent, she will break into the top 10. Then she fights and beats another opponent. She'll break into the top five. And then she beats one of the top five girls. Then she deserves a title shot. So she needs to get a couple, maybe three, three, three five win streak and maybe a title shot. I think, I mean, that's how it looks like right now. You know, a three five win streak should get her a title shot in this division. The division's pretty stacked, but um, that still should give her a title shot, though. I still think that's a pretty, pretty impressive, impressive performance, you know, enough to warrant a title shot, in my opinion. Um, yeah, pretty much, man. Like, the reach was pretty, pretty, pretty similar. You know, Raquel has a bigger reach, but, you know, that wasn't really the story of the fight. Uh... It was more about the grappling aspect. I feel like both of these women didn't really want to get hit in the face in this fight. If you're getting, if you're scared of getting punched in a fight in an MMA fight, I think that maybe you probably shouldn't be fighting MMA. But at the same time, that's why it's called MMA because it's called mixed martial arts. You wrestle, you strike, you do jujitsu on the ground, and that's a full fight. That's using all of your weapons. But at the same time, like I don't, I don't know why these motherfuckers always shit on boxing and say, "Oh, boxing, you're not really fighting; it's just a limited school skill set." But when you're in a street fight, you're not fighting with rules. There's rules in MMA, guys. You guys know that there's rules in MMA too, right? You can't elbow. Well, you can't elbow, but you can't use twelve to six elbows, and you can't uh, get eye gouge. You can't bite. You can't punch. You can't punch them in the nuts. Those are all rules, man. Whether you like it or not, those are all rules, man. <laughs> you know, those are all rules. They're not like just because they don't suit your agenda doesn't mean they don't mean anything. You know. Now, Pani Kianza, uh, she loses another fight. She might get released from the fight from from the UFC because losing another fight will really will get you released. It will do that to you because you know you keep losing to these girls. You're gonna get released, baby. Maybe you should go back to Sweden and fight in those local competitions. 